This channel is for adults and not for kids. Hey guys, thanks for stopping back by. Today I have a cool monster to show you guys. <laughs> this crazy looking monster is Breton. He is a kaiju from the original 1966 Ultraman. Um, this particular monster used to really freak me out when I was a kid. I think this monster and the Dada, I think those were the ones that freaked me out the most as a little kid. Something about this bizarre, asymmetrical, um, just sort of out there creature. It kind of looks like a heart. Um, it's just really, really weird looking. Um, and I guess that's what freaked me out about it, uh, was that it was just so unusual looking. Um, so it, it didn't arrive looking like this. I gave all this dirtiness, I added all that. And in inside each one of these uh, little ports, I painted it black because that's how I remember it from the show. And I didn't look at any pictures, so I'm not exactly sure if it's show accurate. I was sort of going off of memory and my little kid memory of it was that it was sort of dark inside each one of these uh, valves or something like that. Anyway, so that's the way I painted it. And now I'll probably go back and look at <laughs> stills from the episode and it probably wasn't like that, but I remember it being dark like that. Um, and then I gave him sort of a dirty wash all over because it just looked, it was way too clean. And I, I sort of remember it being a, a little bit grimy. And it was, you know, like, you know, like moving all crazy. And it would have like these little antenna things that would come out, these little stalks, these antennas would come out and they would vibrate and, and cause mayhem. It's monsters from the fourth dimension. So it would like fuck with people, transport them, you know, miles away and mess with gravity and mess with time. It was just, it was just a very bizarre uh, creature uh, for me to wrap my little kid head around. So it, it freaked me out a lot. Maybe because it didn't look so monstrous is why it, it was just so bizarre. Um, X Plus made a big version of one of these, which is like three times the size of this. This is just a, this is a little guy. He's, he's tiny. He's littler than a coffee cup. It's, it's a tiny little monster. Um, I believe he is to be used with your movie monster line figures, but, um, I grabbed some of my vinyl Ultraman and he stood a little too tall. Like I remember this creature being bigger than that. So I grabbed some of my Shoto figures and they seem to be the scale that I remember. Like this is kind of how it is. Well, this is how it is in my mind. This is, this is sort of like what I imagine the two of them squaring off to be about like I, I thought that monster was bigger like that so yeah he looks good next to these Shoto um, figures I mean he looks good next to the the movie monster ones too but this is just sort of how I I picture it we'll put all Bolton up there and we'll put we'll put Zeton 
up there too. Yeah, that looks about the right size to me. Well, do you guys remember this monster? He was one of the more fantastic looking beasts. Ultraman always had cool adversaries. And this, this one was very unique, very different looking. Yeah, very unusual. Just this asymmetrical sort of <laughs> avant-garde monster. And he, uh, he left an impression on me. I was freaked out by him. Anyway. Just thought you guys would want to see the little kaiju that I just picked up. Alright guys, hang in there. I'll be back with some more goodness, some more monsters, very soon. Happy Halloween.